this recruitment series is going so well, we've decided to continue it and decided to do a few more episodes on recruitment in the childcare. So the big thing and the big topic that we keep getting asked again is where should we advertise our jobs? Now, childcare job boards, there is none of them. There's a brand new one that we, we made uh, because we thought there's a gap in the market here. We need to have something to help our clients, help childcare businesses without a cost. You know, make sure it's free, make sure people can access, apply and put their job ads in a sensible place that's just for the childcare sector. Now, although that's great, the problem, as we've discussed previously, is we've got to be putting ourselves in front of the candidates rather than the candidates looking for job boards or looking through job boards. We've got to be putting ourselves in front. So it's great to have yourself in job boards. It's important to have yourself in job boards. But what's essential is to think about adverts. Think about Facebook adverts. Think about Google adverts. Think about the ways you can put yourself in front of that perfect audience by running those ads. If you're not running ads, start to think, actually, if I do run ads, you know, how much is this going to cost me? What, 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 what's the sort of outcome going to be? And I can tell you, on average, the providers that we work with, we're averaging roughly around £200 and they're getting a higher, if not two highers. That, that's the average. Of course, there's, there's extremes, you know, there's a low extreme, there's a high extreme. But the key thing to think about is that sort of spend, you would, you would spend on a recruitment agency up to £2,000, if not more. So you've got to think, actually, that's the, probably the most viable thing to do is run my own adverts on Facebook and Google, get myself in front of the right audience and get those candidates in. But the big thing you've got to remember is if you put an advert out there, you've got to make sure you know what you're doing. You've got to make sure the audience is perfect. You've got to make sure the ad is compelling and you've got to make sure that the way in which you've set that ad up is correct because we've seen it time and time again where we've had people come to us and say, oh my gosh, I've just spent a thousand pounds on ads. That's because the ad wasn't set up properly. Make sure that you know what you're doing. If not, contact us. We'll give you free advice, free support on setting up your ad campaigns. If not, we'll do it for you. There's a lot of support out there. Just use it as much as possible and you'll really, really see the benefits. Hi everyone, it's Ben again from Chalky Marketing TV. This is our recruitment series. And so far, we have seen an overwhelming response. It has been great to see so many positive comments and so many changes that people are making in their childcare businesses that are now giving them results already, which is great. So in this episode, we really want to cover SEO in, in your job adverts. So how can you ensure that your position is going to be as good as possible in the job boards, in Google search, and across the board with regards to adverts in general. So how can you increase that readability element? Now, SEO is a complicated subject. We're not gonna go into depth about SEO today because we'll be here for hours. But as a quick overview and a quick snapshot, key things to think about. Are you using the right keywords in your job adverts? Are you using the right terminology that somebody could type in in Google that you would then show up? If you are using terminology that's different from the rest of the sector, change it back to the norm. Make sure that you are coming up in those searches as much as possible. In the description itself, make sure you're using reference words, make sure you're using uh, long chain keywords such as you know, childcare jobs or childcare in the childcare sector. Use terminology that people might type in in Google. Now those, those search terms, people probably won't type in. But this is really important just to make sure you've covered all areas. Now, as we said, as we said before, the key thing is for you to put yourself in front of the applicants. The applicants won't come to you at the same rate as if you're not putting your adverts out there. So although SEO is important for job descriptions, it is not an essential to think about straight away. The things to think about straight away is how can you get yourself in front of those candidates? <laughs>